which had a massively successful season, but are you able to pick just one moment which stands out for you over the course of the year? For me personally, the start of the year um, at Hope Far, just because it was, um, you know, the tour of the Med had some shortened stages because of the weather, and people have said, uh, well, Hope Var was around the 200k mark, and, um, you know, I was properly marked out, and I could tell, you know, everyone was following me, so to be able to, you know, win despite that was um, was a real confidence boost, and, you know, it was, uh, I loved the, the parkours, and, um, yeah, that's just a great memory for me. That must have been a big change because I know, you know your name was written all over the road and you must have known a lot of the crowds. That... Yeah, I did, and you know to have the leaders jersey that day, um, you know, got it the day before. That was that was amazing. You know, just um, up over Dartmoor, the roads that I've trained on the last few years. And yeah, that was great. That's something I won't forget either. And I came up to you on the last day and said, you know well done and make sure you appreciate it. Did, did you take it all in on that last day? I mean, it was a short stage round to Guildford, but... I did a bit, yeah. I mean, it got a bit, um, you know, the racing started near the end, but no, it was really nice riding through. When we came through Guildford, 100 k to go, and it was like the crowds were four or five deep, something like that, and just a wall of sound, and that was uh, that was pretty incredible, yeah. Just sort of, I could, yeah, appreciate it then. Did your heart skip a beat when those attacks started going on the last KOM then? Uh, no, yeah, I was up the front. I was, you knew something was going to happen, I was ready for it. Uh, World Championships obviously was you know, a massive thing for you. Talk us through the team meeting, you know, I think it was the night before the race, what went on in that meeting? For me it was you know, a position never at that time expected myself to be in. You know, they took us through the PowerPoint um, of what people's roles were and it turned out you know, I, was, I was sort of protected and um, you know, this was kind of what was expected for me all with like, no pressure but you know, so um, it was a bit yeah, it was a bit strange, you know, seeing, um, you know, I'd have Cab and Brad doing the early laps and um, Swifty and, and Stan and that to look after me towards the end, so. And when the Tour de France champion and the current world champion put their hands up on that Sky bus to say, yep, yeah, we're going to put our energies behind Jonathan Tierney and Locke, you know, what goes through your head when it's your know, first elite world championships? Yeah, like you just don't want to, um, you don't want to let them down, do you? But because I'd just come off the Tour of Britain with that success and, you know, I didn't let those guys down and, yeah, this was a higher level, but just took the same approach, you know, just thought, well, I'll just stick to the plan and uh, see how far into the race I can get. And, you know, as the laps went down, I was still there and the guys had done their job and, you know, had a, um, like a, a whiteboard up on the side with, with a few instructions and, yeah, just the main thing was to not let people off, you know, that you kind of look up to like that, not let them down.